Welcome to Kent News, the hub of current news. The secret weapon hail has been fired. Fear of a nuclear tsunami. In the photos served by the official news agency KCNA, there was one detail that could not be overlooked. The underwater nuclear unmanned aerial vehicle, called a tsunami in the local language, can cause radioactive waves. This year, it has fired more missiles than ever before in a single year. In fact, it can be said that in 2022, it has sent as many missiles into the sky as a quarter of all the missiles it has launched so far. Kim Jong-un declared this year that North Korea has become a nuclear weapon state and that its weapons are permanent. This raised tensions on the Korean peninsula to their highest level since 2017, when then-U.S. President Donald Trump threatened North Korea. So what's next? North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, who rules the loneliest country on Earth, linked the missile test to a series with the new year. So he also had a surprise for the world. He took his daughter Kim Jue, whom he put in front of the cameras for the first time last year, to almost every missile test. According to the information that has emerged, the underwater drone, which can cause a radioactive tsunami, can carry a nuclear warhead and can move underwater for 59 hours. KCNA reported that the secret weapon, which travels 80 to 150 meters below the water, is designed to expose enemy vehicles and ports to radioactive waves on a high scale. According to the agency, the vehicle was detonated off the eastern coast of the country after 59 hours at a depth of 80 to 150 meters. The agency stated that a test warhead was used instead of a nuclear warhead in the test. The name of Kim's new secret weapon is Hale. The name in question is Korean for tsunami. This nuclear underwater attack unmanned aerial vehicle can be deployed on a shore and port. It can also be towed by a ship, KCNA News reported. The BBC wrote that the latest weapon tested by North Korea appears to be an imitation of Russia's famous nuclear torpedo Poseidon. Moscow claims that Poseidon will be able to destroy U.S. coastal cities with radioactive ocean waves and a nuclear tsunami. Kim Jong-un, who watched the firing of hail on the spot, called for a rethink to his hostile brother South Korea and ally the United States. The North Korean leader said his enemies should realize that North Korea's unlimited nuclear war deterrence capacity is being increased at full speed. Tensions have recently escalated on the Korean peninsula. The United States and South Korea completed their largest joint exercises in the region in the last five years on Wednesday. We have come to the end of another news. See you later.